All right, let's take a really quick look at equilateral triangles. And an equilateral triangle, if you see the equa, that's where the equal is. Lateral would be the line of the sides. So we're talking about uh, triangles with equal sides. There's some interesting things about uh, equilateral triangles. I thought I'd just fiddle with making one really fast. I'm going to uh, take this off so you can see. I'm going to use a little bit of patty paper here because it makes an interesting point, I think. Well, not really interesting, but mathematical, I guess. It makes a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that's say 4 by 8. Or from 4 to 8, I'm sorry. 4 by 8 would be an area. I don't know what I was thinking. So I just drew a line there. Not a big deal. Might work better if I drew them in, in uh, black as opposed to this green, which doesn't show all that well. There we go. Now, I'm going to find a the midpoint of that line. I don't know why I moved the ruler. Insanity may be a reason. There. Make that line look a little better. There we go. I'm going to find the middle. I'm going to draw a line through that middle. More or less, try to make a 90 degree angle with it. A little bit better. Now, from here, I'm going to draw, since this is 4, I'm going to try to make this middle line, extend it out a little bit. I'm going to try to make a 4 inch line that goes and stops directly on that line. So, right there. And same thing here. Now, that was really bad. There we go, more or less. Now, these are the same lengths, so I'm going to mark them as being congruent, whatever, whatever. Now, there's an interesting thing about equilateral triangle in so much as the angles have a relationship. So let's look at their values. This angle is at 60 degrees. This angle is at 60 degrees. And this angle is at 60 degrees. If I were to fold this over on top of each other, right through the center there, you can see that the black lines fall right on top of each other, fit perfectly, so those angles are equal. If I went up this direction, oh, how well it shows, oh it does show pretty well, so that one's 60 degrees as well, and then here, 60 degrees. So as you can see, if a triangle is equilateral, it is also equiangular, which is to say it has the same value. That makes a lot of sense because if you look, no matter how you turn it, it essentially becomes a, a, an isosceles triangle, right? So here's an isosceles with these two sides, so these are matched into B60. If I took uh, 60 plus 60, which is 120, away from 180, the only thing left, so I had 180 in a triangle, I took two 60s away, all I would have left is the 60 degree, which is right there. So in your equilateral triangle, not only are your sides the same length, your angles are locked in to not only be the same, but exactly the same number regardless of the size of the triangle. They're always 60 degrees. It's every single time that you deal with it, it works out that way. Now, uh, by the way, the idea that uh, these things are equal is considered to be a corollary. So the idea that if it is equilateral, then it is equiangular. That statement is called a corollary, which is not the same as a coronary, which is like a heart thing. But um, if you have a corollary, what it really is is like they're very easy uh, statements to prove or a theorem that you can use one versus the other. So 
if I know an equilateral, then I know it's equiangular. Uh, another pretty popular one is the reverse, which is if you have 60 degree angles, they're all the same. There's nothing else you can do. They have to be equilateral. So if I have all three angles the same and it makes a triangle, that's the key. It has to make a triangle. If I pick 70, well, let's pick a, a bigger angle. So say, uh, I'm going to make a line here really fast. So say I wanted to do 40 degree angles. And this line is pretty much, let me extend it out to four and a half. There we go. So I'm going to go up to this angle and I'm going to pick, say, 40. And I'm going to go over here, so I'll draw this line out to the proper distance. Whoops, I didn't run it through the line. That was silly. What was I thinking? Just kind of dazing off, I guess. There we go. That line. This line is not there. Go over here. I'll do 40 again. It'll be right there. Can't make it that way. It doesn't exist this angle has is obviously going to be bigger than 40 no matter what you do. Same thing if you use big angles. You can only make a triangle with 360 degree angles because if it's equiangular it means they have to be the same so you're dividing it by 3 so they're always going to be 60 degrees as shocking as that sounds. Now, duh, right? Well, let's look at uh, the type of question that you'd be shown more or less. They generally use uh, an equilateral triangle in the mix of uh, in the mix of something else. Uh, like it's in the mix of the problem, it's not necessarily the key component. In this one it's pretty basic analysis. Find the values of the angles A, so here, angle uh, C, so here's angle A. Angle C is over here, way far across. And then they want to know angle A, D, E. So we'll get to that in a second. Now, as you can see, I've got three uh, equilateral triangles sitting there. And if you can't see them, then I'll highlight them really quickly. Here's an equilateral triangle. Because as you can see, each one of them has a... Uh, line marking the congruence of all the sides. Here's another one. And here's the third one. So there are three equilateral triangles there. Now I know because I know and we just talked about it uh, in an equilateral triangle the angles are not only the same they're all worth 60 degrees. So angle A is not as affected by anything else so I'm going to say that angle A is equal to 60 degrees. Angle C all the way over here is still locked in because it's in an isosceles or an equilateral triangle. So angle C is also 60 degrees. Now, the last one is a little bit more complicated, but not really. They want to know what angle A D E is. Now, I'm going to use the pieces of information I know about equilateral triangles. This angle, angle D that goes here, is 60 degrees. This angle here is also 60 degrees. And due to, which is really hard to see at that size, but they're both 60 degrees because they're equilateral. And due to the uh, angle addition postulate, that would mean that this whole angle here is 60 plus 60, or 120 degrees. Now, sometimes you'll see an equilateral triangle popped out in the middle somewhere of something or whatever. Um, just remember that if you see a triangle that has all three sides marked congruent, not only do they have the same length of sides, but also the angle measurements are the same, and that of course they are 60 degrees. So hopefully this is somewhat helpful and uh, good luck.